Hello, my name is Lewis and welcome to Gathering the Magic. And yes, we are back with a booster box opening. It has been a long, long time. Obviously, it's, it's quite nice. We've had a nice gap since uh, since the previous Innistrad Midnight Hunt set, which you love to see. Too many sets these days coming out quick and fast. But yeah, really excited for this set. And we've got that first alternate art, Alluring Suitor. Howlpack Piper is the first rare. The werewolf can't be countered. And of course, when it goes to Nightbound, it becomes a bigger werewolf. Makov Waiter Foil and a DFC. But as always, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for all things MTG. And I never, I never set like targets, but I will do it for this because I am so excited to be doing booster box openings again. If this video gets 100 likes, which I think would be the highest that I've ever had on a video, I will buy a collector box of Crimson Vow. I've said it and I'll stick to my word. And we've got Cemetery Desecrator. We've got a Mythic already, a Zombie with Menace and a few ETB or Die effects. Love to see it. Foil Fleeting Spirit and another DFC. Oh no, it is a Zombie Token. You can go in your own mythic pile. And I got excited there because I suddenly remembered we've got list cards. We've got list cards. This is why set booster, set booster boxes, if you just buy them, if you buy them boxes, whatever, buy them instead of the draft. They're so much better. You get more, you get more rares, you get more mythics, you even get more uncommons. And yeah, just, just nice, good stuff. You get, you know, cards and themes together. It all just works out lovely. We've got this alternate art and another rare by invitation only. Really cool one, it's, it's very specific, but yeah, choose them between 0 and 13, each player sacrifices that for many creatures. Don't know why they went so specific on 13, there's probably something in it that I don't know, but there we go. And I'll say a big quick thank you now before I forget, because opening these videos, you just ramble, you forget what you're talking about. But yeah, I wanna say a big thank you to all of the support for Decktober, it was, so so fun to do 30 31 decks 31 days it was hard but it was a uh, it was very fun and we're well we're trying to think of something to do for next time we're, we're smashing through the white rares aren't we one drop human warlock with training whenever it attacks with another creature with greater power put a one one counter on this creature nice stuff and a foil evolving wilds but yeah as i was saying what what do we do next? I'm thinking, I'm thinking with Christmas, Christmas around the corner, we do something like 12, 12 decks of Christmas. That's got a nice fun ring to it. And uh, it won't absolutely shatter me doing one every day for the whole month. But yeah, 12, 12 decks of Christmas. What do you think? Let me know, uh, let me know in the comments below as we get to the next rare. And it is Thalia, Guardian of Thraben. First strike, non-creature spells cost one more to cast. Love that card, I'm sure it'll get a fair bit of play in Commander. And Howling Moon for a double rare pack to uh, to boost those wolves or werewolves and make a little army and still no list. And this pack, this pack right here, I know there's loads to go, but this is going to be the pack of the box. Always, always predict it. Sometimes it comes good, sometimes it doesn't, probably more often than not. But when it comes good, it comes good. And this is going to be the best one. We're probably going to have a list in here. We've got a nice alternate art there. Blood Swan Squire. Unholy Efficient. And Dying to Serve. This is not the pack of the deck. Pack of the box. Pack of the box. And yeah, not pack of the box. I'd love me some Necro Duality. That'd be good. Cultivator Colossus. Obviously the biggest, the biggest hit in this, in this whole, uh, in this whole set. I think that's about $30. $30. Obviously it will just keep, uh, it will keep falling. We've got a signed art card there that nobody cares about. No one cares about the signed art cards. I said it before, if you do, let, let me know because I'd be genuinely interested. Like, I don't know anyone that would go out of their way to, to collect them, but we've got another mythic. It's Henrika Domin, Domin I I know how to say things. Uh, it's 1-3 vampire that does transform into Henrika Infernal here with flying, death touch and lifelink. Belligerent Guest and Day Night Tokens. Okay, so another Mythic for the collection, but we've still not got a list card yet. And um, honestly, I, I have no idea um, what list cards got added, what got removed. Um, so hopefully, finally, I get some good ones and not just, you know, 
the same old like ornithopter or just other stuff that you always seem to get. Dig up rare with that cleave. You must search for a basic land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. Pay the cleave cost, you get rid of all them brackets. Chill at the grave. And oh, here we go. We've got the first list card and it is tasty red commander staple gutter snipe to keep pigging for that damage. And of course, we've got the box topper, which I will do in two packs time when we're a third, third of the way through the box. And that is another one. So I bought this, uh, I bought this booster box and I actually, I didn't realize that this set was gonna have the box toppers in, which is good. You love to see the box toppers. We've got loads of these alternate arts and creepy puppeteer. Haste and when it attacks, if you attack with exactly one other creature this combat, you may have it become a 4-3 base power until the end of turn. Dormant Grove and a token. Yeah, this has been this has been pretty good so far. I don't normally there's the odd slot that you can get the uh, oh nearly knocked the camera. There's the odd slots where you can get the sort of commander commander rares. I don't know. I might have missed some if we've got them. I don't know if that's in this set. It was in it was in Midnight Hunt. So I have to keep my eye out for that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Literally say it and it appears. This is from the uh, VOC, the commander set, Hollowhenge Overlord. Beginning of your upkeep for each creature control, it's a wolf or werewolf, create a 2-2 green wolf creature token. That is huge. And we've got a double rare pack. Nice, nice, nice. Voldaren Estate. Create those blood tokens. Oh, I was hoping it's going to be triple then. Oh, we've got, we've got a list card as well. Repository Scarb and Cranial Plating. Nice stuff there. No, no idea how, uh, how much that is worth uh, from from Time Spiral Remastered. So I imagine probably not much, but another list card, you can't go wrong. So a list and some more rares there. And let's, let's crack this, let's crack this. The pack you always have to be so careful with because it feels so fragile. There we go. There we go. Gotta be careful. We've opened it the right way. What have we got? We've got Harker's Journal, Foil Artifact Clue. Again, no, no idea of the value of this card. It could be amazing, it could be not, but I am excited to get it. That art is absolutely unbelievable. There we go. That's uh, actually, this can go in there. This is a, this is a mythic, this is, this is mythic worthy. Yeah, one third of the way through, it's what, 30, 30 packs in a uh, in a set booster box. You get less packs, but you get more value is is what they will have you uh, have you believe. And Grolnock, okay, that's cool. We've got, a, got an alternate art version of Grolnock, one of the many, many commanders that we did a uh, that we did a deck tech on for Decktober. And I really did like that one. It was very fun. Uh, Headless Rider quite off center, but another rare nonetheless with that zombie loving us, snarling wolf and another token. Yeah, I love me some set boosters. Definitely more fun to open than, than a regular one. You've got all the sort of added spice that you can pull and then even more with the list. So yeah, I but again, say so I get excited about that. I, I've yet to have really, really good list pulls. And I know there are some out there. We've got Graph Reaver there, Exploit. And uh, yeah, what we're gonna have here, Markov Purifier and another Blood Token. Still plenty of packs to go. I would like to get the new Sorin card. Love a bit of Sorin. Maybe even um, maybe even Kaya as well. Another really cool new, uh, new Planeswalker, probably, probably favorite Kaya that they've done so far. So yeah, maybe maybe this pack is uh, is all about that Kaya. No, it's all about that Donal. Donal, Herald of Rings, another commander card, human wizard. Yeah, there we go. Ah, okay, it's a double rare pack again. See, these packs are strong. And uh, yeah, let's see, Estrold Shield Basher, and no list. I keep thinking every card's gonna be list. But that is in fact lies. I believe on average it's five, five maybe five list cards in a box. So we, you know, we're definitely, we're definitely. 
I hope, definitely, maybe, gonna have a few more list pulls. Get through to those. Okay, Demonic Bargain. Again, all about that number 13. These are the top 13 cards of your library. Search your library for a card, put that card into your hand, then shuffle. Perfect for any mill loving decks. And we do have another list. Bleak Coven Vampires. Vampire Warrior with Metalcraft. And ETBs, if you control three or more artifacts, target player loses four life and you gain four life. What else is there that I would like to get? Mana, Mana Form Hellkite. Mana Form Hellkite, that'd be another good one. I still think that's floating around the $15 range, so could be, um, okay, let's not open these packs the wrong way around. We've got another gold signed card, this one, Vampire's Vengeance. Again, they've continued with the uh, really cool, really special lands. I love them so much in a Midnight Hunt and really, really glad that they're doing them again. And we've got another legendary creature, Dorothea, Vengeful Victim. When it attacks or blocks, sacrifice it at the end of combat with that Disturb casting cost. And Sigari's Imprisonment and a Zombie. And to talk about the Disturb cost, and I don't even show what happens when it transforms. So there, that is what Dorothea transforms into, a nice enchantment. There we go, we'll put that, put that there and go here. It, there's been... There's been a small, small amount of mythic so far, so surely this pack, this pack's good to have more mythics. But we shall, we shall see. It's an Azorius pack going into some, okay, maybe not. We've got Cemetery Gatekeeper. That is another good card. I could be very wrong, but I swear it's somewhere around the $10 range at the minute. It'll definitely go down, but it is, is a very, very cool card. And Sport Crawler. And Elspeth conquers death from Theros Beyond Death. And I believe this card is worth a couple of dollars. It definitely did dip when it was out. And then it's, I think it is a bit more valuable now as it's a very, very popular, very popular commander staple. But again, value of list cards, I know nothing. I'm like Jon Snow, know nothing. Okay, got another art card that no one really cares about this this is white heavy not just this pack but i mean so far what we've opened feels incredibly white heavy and there's a white heavy rare welcoming vampire whenever one or more other creatures with power two or less enter the battlefield under your control draw a card trigger it once each turn vampire's vengeance and then another token we've got some nice well some creepy treasure that is the most haunting treasure token i have ever seen Normally it's just full of gold, isn't it? And that is horrible. Yeah, we've got a we've got a less than one percent chance, but it can happen. Less than one percent chance of having a four rare pack. Obviously, two rares and then a foil and then a list rare. That would be uh, that would be incredible. We've got Falcon Wrath Forebear flying, and it can't block onto onto a second rare. <laughs> We've got Hull Breaker Horror, another another counter, another spell that can't be countered, which is cool. And then we've got a token. Really hyped myself up then. I thought that was going to be a, a four rare, four rare pack. I've never, I've never had it. I've never had it. I've had a three rare pack in here quite quite a few times, which is only about a four percent chance, I believe. It's really, it's really low, but yeah. That four rare pack has eluded me. One day, one day I will get it. And we've got a rare land, Sundown Pass. And to spot for attacks unless you control two or more other lands. That is nice. Weaver of Blossoms that can transform into Blossom Clad Werewolf to add two mana of any one colour. Being a big lover of all things Commander, I love it when new lands come in. That can, uh, that can really add to your, to your decks. Although, I mean, I don't really run anything Boros because, because I'm not crazy. We've got more white here, white green. Yeah, what's the rare going to be? Going to have so many of them. Baldaran Bloodcaster, flying that can transform, if you control five or more blood tokens, into Blood Bat Summoner, 3-3 three, three with Flyer. Courier Bat and then another mini game. Okay, on to the last third now. And like I said, I will stick to my word. If we get 100, 
100 likes, 100 likes, I will get a collector booster box. I just uh, I feel it, but I, I need some sort of incentive or reason first because they are a they are a bank breaker. And yeah, okay, we've got Torrens Fist of the Angels, really cool legendary creature with training. When you cast a creature spell, create a one-one green and white human soldier creature with training. I'll tell you what, that red red sorry, I saw that that green white does love themselves some humans, don't they? If you want to go tribal, if you want to go tribal, Selesnya is the way forward. Okay, mulch, great classic milling card. What we're we gonna get here. We're undoubtedly gonna get some of these alternate arts, which by the end of a box you have about 20 of each copy. We've got Stensia Uprising. Any of your end step create a 1 1 red human creature token. Control exactly 13 permanents. Sacrifice it and it deals 7 damage to any target. Honored heirloom. And we've got another list. We've got Assassin's Blade. What set is what set is that from? Play Assassin's Blade only after you're attacked before you declare interceptors. I think nowadays they just call that Flash. Uh, destroy any one attacking creature that isn't black. That is some cool, cool stuff. Yeah, that is, that's the one thing. The one thing that I'd change about set boosters is that you get those alternate those alternate art cards, showcase, whatever you want to call them, in every in every pack, which which sounds like a good thing, but when they usually take up two slots in a in a smaller size pack, you end up with so so many of them, which again, so I'll have I'll have about 20 of these by the end of this box. Um so it's something that I definitely would change. We've got Edgar Charmed Groom, other vampires you control get plus one plus one. When it dies, the battlefield transformed under its owner's control. Again, perfect for any vampire tribal. Beginning of your upkeep, create a 1 1 1 black vampire creature taken with lifelink. And put a bloodline counter on the coffin. The three or more, remove it and transform it to this, which says other. No, I'm joking. Okay, we've got Cobbled Lancer and we've got another DFC token. Make the video 40 minutes long and just keep saying that card over and over again when it transforms. Yeah. Also, Set boosters only seem to have one 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 art on the front, which again I don't really care because you you crack it, you open the pack, and then you're done with the pack. But I like to see some some mix, some spice in the in the packs. We've got gluttonous guest, and onto the rare we have winged port and draw a card for each creature with flying you control, which again you can cleave for simic, hungry ridge wolf, and a boar token. Yeah, so was it just you know tone tone it down slightly on the uh, on the showcase cards that you put in in here. I don't mind if you if you're whacking in like an extra an extra rare slot for it or something. But yeah, the, the, we don't need we don't need twenty of a of a common. We don't need twenty unholy efficients. You know what I mean? Falcon Wrath Celebrants, Blood Crazy Socialites. There's three in this pack. There's four. <laughs> there's four in this pack. And, oh, nice, okay, nice, nice, nice. We've got Sorin the Mirthless. Definitely a card that I really wanted to get. That is part of the art, I was just checking. Look at the top card of your library, you may reveal a card and put it into your hand. If you do lose life equal to its mana value. That ultimate, deal 13 damage to any target and gain 13 life. That is a big swing there. I was about to say that's a, that'd be a big swing in Commander, but I mean, in standard, start off with 20 life anyway, that could, uh, that could be the game over. Yeah, I'm very excited to see with new set what it's going to bring to MTG Arena. What will, what will you know, be really OP. What won't? Everything still feels a bit fresh at the minute since um, since the old Throne of Eldraine went out. And we've got Geralf, Visionary Stitcher. Give zombies you control flying and create some uh, create some more zombies. That is that is a cool card. And we've got Blood Vile Purveyor, Flying Trample. And yeah, all about those blood tokens. Braid, and we've got another list. We've got Noxious Ghoul. Noxious Ghoul, whenever it, whenever the zombie comes into play, all non-zombie creatures get minus one, minus one until the end of turn. Tell you what, and a zo zombie tribal deck that I want to build in my head. This is this is going straight in there. Okay, let's put that there. We'll move Soren over to the mythic pile where he belongs, and then we'll put them there. Okay, we've got four left, four left. And I still feel like the, uh, the Cultivator Colossus is is somewhere in these last four packs, and uh, yeah, I'll be I'll be very sad if not. 
Valkyrie Celebrants again, Skulking Killer again, Eldarian Epicure again. And, okay, I said I wanted Sorin, I said I wanted Kaya. I got Sorin and Kaya. Okay, with that big minus six, exile all cards from all graveyards. Create a 1 1 White Spirit creature token with flying for each card exiled this way. Huge. Geist Light Snare and another DFC card. Okay, another solid pack. Got another one that I wanted. Again, like I said, Colossal, not Colossus, Cultivator Colossus and Necro Duality, two of the big dogs that I really, really want to get. I really want to see. So let's hope there's some spice at the end of the box. We've got Consuming Tide to uh, get some non land permanents they control. Uh, well, no, let me read the card how it is. Each player chooses a non land permanent they control, present all non land permanents not chosen this way to their owner's hands. Drawing a card for each opponent who has more cards in their hand than you. Don't know why I tried to say it in, in a different way around. That did not work. Final two two packs. Usually when I get the packs out of the box, I will I'll always I'll mix them up, I'll throw them around so they're in just random orders. I know they're random anyway, but I like to do that. I didn't do it for this one, so are the best packs right at the back of the box? We'll uh, we will have to see. Potentially not. <laughs> Ill-tempered loner. Human werewolf that can uh, have that day bound, night bound to Howl Pack Avenger 4 4. Yep, there we go. Massive might and no more list. Okay, I mean, we've had what? Well, we've had one, two, three, four, five. We've had six, which is, like I said, you, you expect to get five or six. It's meant to be one in every four packs. So that probably should be it. It looks like it because there is a, uh, a token at the back of the pot. Pock, pack and box, that's what that comes out with. Okay, um, yeah, let's see, let's see. Is it gonna be good? Loads of blue, some green. I love me some Simic. And we're gonna have crazy, creepy puppeteer. I believe we already got that towards the start of the box. Yeah, we did. We definitely did. So nothing special to end, a foil mulch and a nice little token. But what we will do before we uh, wind on up is look at all the mythics we've got. We've got quite a few. It feels quite chunky. We've got Kaya. We've got Sorin. Donald Herald, Herald of Wings from VOC. Cemetery Gatekeeper. We've got Harker's Journal, the, uh, the buyer box card there. And Henrika Domanthai. And finally, Cemetery Desecrator. Didn't get the huge ones that I wanted, but I'd say that was a pretty good box. There we have it. That is the Crimson Vow booster box opening. Thank you for watching and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for all things MTG. Check out our link tree in the description below for all of our social media and affiliate links. For now though, I'm all tapped out. So I'll see you in the next video.